Hi, my name is Dana Ralph and I am your Kent Mayor. Um, we are doing our first Kent Now on location at the brand new Dick's Drive-In on the West Hill. Joining me today is Jasmine from Dick's Drive-In and we're gonna talk a little bit about something that's not, not great that's happened in our community. Um, we have heard from Sound Transit that they are considering this as one of uh, five other locations to potentially build an operation and maintenance facility and that's not okay with us. So we're gonna work very closely with Dick's and Lowe's and all of these um, businesses up here to see what we can do to change that. Jasmine, can you tell us a little bit about what even being on the list for the environmental impact study means to Dick's Drive-In, to the Lowe's property? It, it ultimately, it was first shocking uh, that we would be on that list. So for anyone who um, are wondering what exactly it means to be on this list, it means potentially Sound Transit could use eminent domain to take our brand new restaurant and tear it down to build a transit maintenance facility. Um, and this restaurant has only been open one month and there were 18 months of work that went into this and lots of time and effort for many of our employees. And it would just be really heartbreaking for us to have Sound Transit take this away so soon after it opened. The idea is if it stays on this list, there's a two-year window where we don't know one way or the other what Sound Transit's going to choose. And that's not the, we believe that's not fair to Dick's Drive-In, it's not fair to Lowe's or any of these businesses up here to have that shadow hanging over them. Um, the big thing for us is that we're offering and know that there is a viable alternative in the Midway landfill, which is just to the south of us. Um, we would welcome that. It would mean more employees in the area, more customers, right? Absolutely. They work in the middle of the night. You guys are open till 2 a.m. Yes. It's a perfect fit. Um, and and we just, we're asking that they take this location off that list and go ahead and explore the five other possibilities that they've identified. So um, again, not us saying we don't want it. It's just saying we don't want it right here. This is, um, I've, I've been up here at all times of the day and night and it's a gathering place. It is so exciting to see so many people here. And we're so thrilled to be open here. We're so thrilled to have the new employees that we hired from the area. We started hiring all the way back in May, right after we broke ground, we started training employees, sending them up to Seattle to get experience so they were ready when the crowds that we knew were coming were gonna show up to serve our quality food. And um, it, it's been a very joyful process for us to go through all of the hard work it takes to open a restaurant. And we're just getting started. The last restaurant, the last new restaurant we opened was seven years ago up in Edmonds. Um, we got this one open and we were hoping to do more, but we can't continue expanding. We can't bring new Dick's Drive-Ins to other communities on the east side or the north end or farther south if this restaurant is hanging in the balance, if it's in question. We also have six surplus acres here that we are going to sell. We hope to bring in new uh, retail, great use for that property. It's primed and ready to be developed and for it to sit there for two years tied up on this list would be really devastating for us. Yeah. It, it's, it's a blow to this whole community. We have been working on what our vision for Midway is for years. We are so excited about what light rail means coming to this area, the redevelopment opportunities, the places for people to come and get something to eat and shop, all of those things right here in their neighborhood. And this, this just is, anti all of that. So we're going to do everything we can. Jasmine, you have my commitment as mayor. I know the city council is behind this um, to, to get this removed from that list for Sound Transit. And we so appreciate everything that you've done to help us with this. And I know Lowe's and Starbucks and the, the nail salon and everybody here in the shopping center is so grateful for everything you and the Kent City Council have done so far and everything we know you'll do going forward. And we are excited to have light rail here. We're excited to have the station opening just down the road. Um, but we would love for the maintenance facility to be down the road that yeah. way. And we would be happy to serve burgers to the employees who work there and uh, make their shifts a little bit happier with a burger fry and shake. Uh, but we can't do that if they take our restaurant away. Yeah. Well said. Thank you so much for um, joining us today, joining us in this fight. Um, like I said, we're we got this. This is this is too important to the Kent community. It's too important to all of our residents and qu quite frankly, the entire region um, for this to go forward. So 
uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. I know that you guys have a Facebook page. We'll be posting updates regularly and um, want to keep the community engaged in where this stands. And please show up at the Kent City Council meeting on February 5th. It would be really helpful if you were there to help us share with Sound Transit that this is not the right place, especially when the perfect place is just down the road. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, please make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. It's a great way to stay updated on things that are happening around the city. It's an immediate way for us to keep you posted on what's going on. And please also go ahead and check out our website, kentwa.gov, for the latest in information and all of your city needs.